Hello, and welcome potentially, well, welcome to a potentially new series called Factorio. Uh, you may or may not have heard the, of the game, uh, as it sounds. Uh, it is about building factories, and it is very similar to Minecraft in, in terms of building lots of stuff up in a base, but it is top-down. Uh, so I thought I'd, I'd record a few episodes of it, and we'll see if it's see if something you guys like. If it is, then let me know in the comments below, and uh, we'll continue going. Uh, just bear in mind, though, I'm recording a few of these at once, so any comments you make, I'm in it built to respond in the videos for a few episodes, because obviously I have already recorded them, this is this would have been past me talking, um, but I certainly will be able to reply in the comments anyway. So let's get started. What do we do? Well, there is a campaign to this, but we're not going to be playing campaign. Like Minecraft, we'll be playing an open world version, so I'm going to load a game that I've previously created. This one is it. It is a seed from the subreddit for Factorio, so um, I will show you the exchange string, which is the equivalent of the seed. There we go. You got that? Okay. Um, <laughs> Don't worry, I will post it in the description. Uh, yes, so this is the equivalent of a seed. I will copy and paste that into the description later. Again, it is from the, the Reddit, so I can't remember which user it is. Sorry, I've forgotten where I got it from exactly, but um, we'll get started with it. And let's start with a bit of a description, and I'm going to assume everyone watching hasn't played it before. If you have, I'm sure you'll be more than happy to make some comments about how I'm doing things wrong and how I should be doing it right. So let's get started, and I'm just going to start by saving this off as greatest uh, EP or E01, shall we? So to resume the game and to start off with, I'm just going to tee to pause for a second. Factorio is a game about building factories and resource gathering and making very, very complex stuff, all nice and efficient. Um, think of all the, uh, the the building you do in the Minecraft modded world of thermal expansion and Ender.io and all those kind of mods. All, all Factorio has all that kind of thing in the base game. So we're going to give that a start. So uh, all the basics, WSAD to move around, as you'd expect. And in this case, we're going to hit E first, go in the inventory and go across to this production tab and click on this iron axe. Uh, let's make two, in fact. And once that's done, we're going to gather some, gather some coal and we just right click to gather. Now, if I hadn't crafted those iron axes, that, that progress bar on the bottom of the screen would be going a lot slower. So, uh, yeah, we, we don't want that to happen. We want it to be nice and fast. You'll see on the top right of my screen the map with all the sort of colored, colored dots on it. The important ones there to note are the red ones at the very outer edge at the top left. Those are the aliens who are stuck on an alien planet. We have the ability, for some reason, to have uh, lots of stuff in our inventory that really, really shouldn't fit in it. For example, in our inventory, or in our toolbar, we have an entire stone furnace. No idea why, but we seem to have it anyway. So we're going to grab a few bits and pieces of materials, and we're going to set up uh, with this. So let's just grab that. And we'll go ahead, if I zoom out with the mouse wheel, you'll see there's lots of resources. There's stone up here, and this may be a bit dark. This is YouTube we're talking about, so... Yeah, if it's a bit too dark, let me know. There is a torch, obviously, I'm pointing. But um, as we get through into the electric age, uh, we're going to get lights. So everything will light up, uh, so we'll see how we go on that one. Um, yeah, so let's start off with steel, shall we? Sorry, iron. <laughs> Don't get that wrong. The bottom in my inventory on my toolbar, I have a burning mining drill and a stone furnace. This is the start of the game. So if I press one and R to rotate, I will be able to put down a burner mining drill. Now this will mine up the iron and deposit it wherever this yellow arrow is pointing. If I press Alt, I'll see that by default. So I'm going to leave that on just so you can see it. And if I press 2, I'll then be able to place the furnace right next to it. So this is going to mine up and dump into this furnace. And let's get started, shall we, with, um, I don't know, let's just uh, take a few of those. And that's going to drop the iron ore into this, which is going to smelt into iron plate. And you'll see what, you know, well, let me just put some of this in. So you'll see when I, when I press Alt, I can see what's actually being made in that furnace. So that's going to be making iron. We're going to need some other resources, including more coal uh, and copper and other things. Let's see if we can make... We can make one more stone furnace, that much is for certain. And we're going to need some more iron to make another burning mining drill. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to duplicate this setup. 
pick up stuff out of um, these machines, you can either just click on them and then, you know, just uh, shift click these out, just like in Minecraft, or you control, 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 left click to pick up everything. That's the nine steel plates. Or control, right click to pick up half of the stuff. So, yeah, we've got that. Let's make another burning miner, burner, burner mining drill. And a stone furnace we're going to want as well, which we're going to need more stone, but um, we can then... Where's my stone? Oh, it's all the way over here. I should go to this patch, actually, but uh, that's fine. We're going to want some wood also. Let's go and uh, just right-click on the wood, just like anything else. And there we go. Don't need a lot of this, but uh, it's at least good to start. And then we want to put down our burner mining drill, so press 1. Uh, let's just face it upwards. Uh, put in some that and then we're going to make a wooden chest which is in the logistics tab put this down here and this will continue as long as it has fuel to drop stone in here so we've got that going finally we want to uh, well not finally actually we want to make coal or not dig up more coal and we also want some copper so we're going to do the same kind of thing uh, this is already on our fuel but we should have Yep, 20 iron plates. So let's go and get that going. Um, what am I short? I'm um, short stone, of course. So I'll just grab from down here. Yep, I know there's been a break in the last, in the last few of the episodes. I have been doing a lot of research in this game. Uh, there's a couple of others that I've been looking at researching too, including Subnautica, which is another really nice one, actually. Um, let me know if you guys know of any other games. There's obviously things like um, Ark, which is obvious... Uh, Ark Survival Evolved, which is an obvious target. Um, this one happens to be in Early Access. Uh, I purchased it quite a while before Early Access came out. Uh, let me just make more, actually, while I'm talking. Uh, quite a long time before Early Access came out. But now it's on Steam, it's available and visible to a lot more people. So I thought, yeah, let's give it a go. So in this case, uh, we're not going to do like we've done up here or down there. Coal, easiest and best way to do this is to set up uh, little things like this. You put one down here, and one down here, and you'll see the output into each other. Sneaky? Well, it will be. So if we just grab the one, put it in the top one, it's going to start mining coal, which is going to put it in the bottom one, which is then going to start mining coal, which is going to put it in the top one, and going to start mining coal, and we've got an infinite loop, which is working great. Let me grab those, and we can just drop that back into our other um, mining drill. There we go. Let's just... Uh, does, I don't have any more yet. So that's iron sorted, at least initially. We've got coal sorted now, and we've got stone down here. Let's go and grab more stone, because we're going to need that. Uh, I am playing with a few mods, but nothing that is uh, too much more than vanilla. Um, there are very few mods, in fact. Uh, tree farm, uh, there's a couple of others. Uh, one which just scans the map a bit when you start the game. I think it's called Initial Map Scanner, something like that. Uh, nothing that really affects the game, but there are a lot of mods, just like modded Minecraft, some of which would do a, a huge amount of changes to the game. So, you know, start with the vanilla, see how you go, and then look at the uh, the other ones. Uh, oh. You can actually put wood in these these burner mining drills. They will literally burn anything you put in them that is burnable, uh, including oil products later, I believe. Uh, so we're not going to worry too much about that. And we're going to reproduce the same thing over here too. We're not going to need as much copper, but at least we need some. So uh, we want to burn a mining drill and a stone furnace. And we can do the same thing here. Yeah, hopefully. Um, yes, I'm not going to worry too much about the placing for this yet. A lot of this stuff is very, very temporary. It's really here just to the start of the game, and later we will we'll improve. Come on, give me at least some copper. One, <laughs> okay. Right, so now we've got resources going. We've got four different resource uh, gathering. Iron up here, coal, stone, and copper. We're going to need to link them at some point, and that's the way we should probably look. Oh, it's going dark again. Oh. We should probably look into these tabs. Just like Minecraft, instead of any AI, uh, you have um, crafting tabs, and this will expand as the game expands itself. In order to expand that, you press T, 
and you have a list of technologies that you want to research, you choose one, uh, let's just say automation, this first one, it's going to cost a certain number of science packs, we'll go and make those items soon, 10 in this case, and it is going to let us create assembling machines and long handling inserters, we'll come into that, all of that again later. Uh, so I guess to start with, we should look at some of the more simple stuff we can craft. Um, to start with, we want a few things. Um, yeah, we're going to want boilers, we're going to want pipes, uh, we're going to try and establish power as quickly as we can. And we can do without power by using burner items, burner inserters, burner mining drills, etc, etc. Um, but that is... Um, it's only a very temporary thing at the start of the game, for the most part. I'll zoom in so you can perhaps see a bit more. Uh, so let's just quickly gather those. And to do power, <laughs> just like in Minecraft early, early uh, game stage, we are going to need to um, pretty much go for steam power. And to do that, we need to pump water out, heat it up, turn it to steam, and then from there we can... Um, we can generate power in steam engines. I think I'm going to start over here. And if you can't see this on YouTube, well, sorry. Uh, I, I will try and change the gamma in the next episode. If uh, okay, I can't tell here until it actually goes up to YouTube because YouTube's encoding then changes the, the brightness level. So uh, hopefully it's okay. But we want water from here. And I think maybe I'm going to gather coal from here. Again, a separate uh, section to the one over there that we've already created. And then we're going to use that to heat up the boilers. And the boilers are then going to feed um, steam engines. So we need to decide how I'm going to do that. And in fact, I think we're going to do it pointing downwards. That just makes things a little bit nicer. We're going to start by getting... Uh, we want an offshore pump, which needs more copper. So let's go and grab that now that hopefully it's had some time to actually gather lots of stuff. Uh, we're also going to want to make much more uh, steel furnaces and steel... Uh, Mining drill. Oh, steel. I keep saying steel. <laughs> Iron mining drills. There, there we go. We've got plenty. So, uh, what do we need for that offshore pump? We need iron. Okay, let's go and grab that. Bit of running around at the start of the game. That will quickly die away. Um, we're going to be putting belts to transport items between these. There we go. It's come light again. And then you have run out of fuel, of course. So, let's get that done. We want an offshore pump. And we're also going to want, um, strictly speaking, we should be building 14 boilers here. And I think I'm going to start with just seven. Um, let me try to explain that. Each offshore pump can roughly sustain 14 boilers. 14 boilers can sustain 10 steam engines. But to start with, I'm not going to need all 10. So uh, let's just make an offshore pump and seven boilers and steam engine we're going to need just lots of iron for that so i'll have to go back and uh, do that uh the offshore pump we're going to put down let's say well, it just shouldn't matter too much where i put it down um there will do yeah but have i made two of these oh, i have never mind i'll put the other one down so from that we then can just Put the boilers into it like that and just create a line of them i would be tempted more to do pipes if i have enough materials uh, eh, <laughs> i need more steel <laughs> again a bit more running around at the start of the game not much i can do to avoid that sorry so i'm gonna get to pipe to ground i'll show you why i do this in a second so pipe to ground is basically like pushing uh, your water pipe from this this offshore pump underneath the ground and popping up somewhere else, let's say there. This is just so in the future if I need to run anything this way or walk across this way, I won't get blocked by this giant wall of pipe. Because if I put pipe down, it will get blocked. So let's okay, let's do that. So let's put our, uh, our boilers down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're all going to say, oh no, I'm out of power. Fair enough. So we're going to need to get um, coal into them somehow. We can start them up manually by putting stuff in. Um, but uh, we can also show a little bit 
for the start of the automation here if we've got enough stuff. Uh, we're going to want uh, another couple of burner mining drills. Okay, let's get more steel. Uh, yeah, another couple of those. And then we're going to want some transport belts. Which again is yet more steel. This isn't a reason why you also want more of these. So why don't we actually do that as well? Uh, there we go. And stone furnaces, maybe? And then we can just uh, start doing this. We're getting a bit more fuel these days. And the, uh, well, not not enough, obviously. But uh, close enough. Let's give that a go and start you up as well. Okay. So we've got three. I probably want four or five there to actually to, to keep us going initially. But uh, that's okay. Uh, burn a mining drill times one. And we want another one as well. Certainly a lot faster than actually... Um, Digging them out of the ground. So, um, what do we want to do here? We want to place our burner mining drills, and we do the same things we did before. And uh, we just want to grab one and bootstrap it. They should start going, and we want to start crafting belts. So down here, we're going to put down this one in the first toolbar slot, the burner inserter. And this is where we get to insert the inserters. So that the flat side is the from side, the pointy side is the to side. So it will take anything from the flat side and put it into the thing that it's pointing at. In this case, the boilers. Three. See, it's like a little robot arm. It'll kind of grab things from where I'm standing and move it into the boilers. To do that, we're going to need to get stuff out of here. So, hmm, we can do, well, I wonder. We can rotate it, and then it should just drop it straight onto the belt. But then we wouldn't get any uh, stuff from this one, so we can probably just get a burner inserter. If I just press F, I can pick up stuff on the ground. You may not have seen that, but it had already dumped some coal onto the ground in the meantime. And so let's go and get some belts made. Hopefully I've got lots more steel now. Uh, that looks like 80, so that's a lot more steel. And yeah, we can make lots of belts. Let's make those and a few more burner inserters. And let's start placing our belt. So again, we can rotate with R. In this case, uh, initially, I guess I'm just going to run a belt uh, this way. And this isn't going to block us from moving, so uh, we don't have to worry too much about that. Am I one off? <sighs> Annoying. Right click to pick stuff up. <laughs> you don't need to, they won't get destroyed, it'll just go straight back into your inventory. Let me just make a few more. So you can keep on uh, using it. There we go. And what's going to happen is. Coal's going to get put onto here and got taken down there. So we're going to uh, need a burner inserter over here. And then it uh, should... We can start that way. Yeah, that should work. I'm probably, however, going to actually expand this a little bit by making a couple more burner, in, burner mining drills and modifying that, that, uh, that infinite loop a little bit. Because, in theory, those burner... Inserters could empty these. They probably won't ever do that, but uh, in theory they could. So instead, we're going to have a couple more burning mining drills. Um, have you been made? Uh, are you my inventory? Uh, another one. Yeah, and we're going to make it into a complete loop by doing this. And then we're just rotating each one into the next one. Uh, that was already set. Yep, so now it's in a, it's a complete circle. And they'll only pull, the, these burner inserters will only pull from these bottom two, and these top two will always keep everything running. So that's fine. And as you can see, it's already piling up here. Now, if you look at the belts, you'll notice that the items are only actually appearing on one side of the belt. The belt does have two sides. These inserters, in fact all inserters, will put things on the far side of the belt based on where they are. So if I wanted stuff to go on this top side of the belt, I would need burner inserters over here, or I'd need to manipulate the belt a little bit. We'll come on to manipulating the belt a little bit later. For this uh, case, 
I'm not going to worry about it. Um, I'm not going to need it at all. Uh, or even need to think about it. So, where are we? We need some more of these. And rotate them to point this way. And you'll see um, all the, the fuel things are being, uh, the fuel inventory is being filled up. And if I hover over them on the right hand side, you'll see temperature 100. So, boiling water. And that's 100 degrees centigrade for those of you American. The rest of the world uses, uh, sorry, 100 degrees Celsius. <laughs> for the rest of the world uses um, Celsius. <laughs> Don't worry, your backward system will be fine with as well. I'm sure you can work out Fahrenheit by yourself. On the uh, on the end of that, we're going to have uh, some steam engines. I've already made one, but this is two. We're going to have five. So remember before I said that that pump will supply, this pump in fact, will supply 14 of these and 10 steam engines. Well, that will be seven and five if you have it, if you want to just do half of this to start with, which I will do. And in that case, uh, you press three and you can rotate these whichever way you want. Um, as long as you basically fit them to the end of the boilers, or you, again, you can put more pipe down to, to move this out if you wanted to spread things out. I'm not going to worry too much about that. I'm just going to put them down. And it may look weird in that you're now getting a power symbol next to a steam engine that's producing power. That just means that you need some power poles, which you get from wood, which is now being manufactured. So now we have on my number three key some power poles. And in this case, I could just put one down right about here. Um, it's not going to work. In fact, let me just put it down. Is it worth? Uh, yeah, that's fine. Fine. Uh, ah, put that back. There we go. So I'm just going to lay these out this way. And you can lay them into a network however you want. That's up to you entirely. We won't get these uh, symbols changing, really until we actually produce a power load on them. Just like any electric supply, you have to have a load on it really to, to, to see these actually powering up. You'll see at the bottom it says available performance on the right hand side. That means we're fine. Um, these are set up correctly. We just don't have any load, so there's no performance figure there. Uh, so let's, let's see if we can get uh, some kind of load on there. So uh, everything's out of coal, obviously. Uh, so let's just grab some more coal. And now that we've got power, we can look at replacing these burner inserters if we want to. We don't necessarily have to, but we can. And the burner inserters, did I say? Burner mining drills. So we can. And for some things, that is very useful. Um, I would start, however, by starting kicking us into the research tree. To do that, we need to make what I said before which is these science packs but to even use those science packs we need to make the lab and the lab just needs more iron and it needs power you can't power the lab on coal apparently there are no pre-electric scientists in this world although i some can seemingly carry entire steam engines in my inventory so who am i to argue um okay let's just keep kicking these in but can i even uh, just hover over and drag these uh okay Fine. It's taking them all off me. There is a shortcut to actually put just about half in each one, but uh, I can never remember in terms of drag and drop one. Okay, 141 uh, iron plates. So let's start with the basics of science then. Now this is 23 minutes in and we're already into steam power. We build a lab. In this case, actually I'm going to build two. And we may as well, if I right click, you can build five at once. I'm going to build about 10, 15... Heck, let's build 20 science packs. You'll see that they're all building at the bottom left of the screen. This is unique to you, however. Um, it's building all the subcomponents that you need. In this case, iron gear wheels is, is a subcomponent. It'll do it all automatically, but only when you're building it in your inventory. When you're setting up factories, factories can't do that. So we have to set up um, networks of belts and factories, uh, assembly machines in this case, to make whatever we want. So the uh, other lab's made, one, one lab is made. So we can just put these down near a power pole. Uh, in this case, yeah, you, you'll do. And uh, I'll put another one there. They uh, will take the science packs, which are still being made in my inventory. So I'll come back to those in a minute. 
So these labs just need power, and then we can insert stuff into them. In this case, I'm just going to do it manually in my inventory to start. I'm going to choose a research. And I think I want, uh, let's see, uh, the common ones to start with are automation or logistics, or possibly the turret one, turrets. There we go. Uh, turrets are more, better if you've got like a small map with your uh, aliens very close in, turrets is a good one to start with. Uh, otherwise, logistics or automation will both do you very good. I, I quite like both of them, but it's going to be quite fast uh, once we get them started. So I have, have my science packs going. I've got three. Okay. Let's just put two in one and one, uh, two in the other. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. And let's get started. Let's, uh, let's research automation. Go. Top right of the screen, you'll see the automation is now going, and you'll see that the boilers have now kicked on. Uh, in addition, the steam engines are also on. That brings up a good point. Boilers produce pollution. You'll see on this map, hopefully, depending on, uh, hopefully that's a better size for YouTube, there's an orangey area. That's your pollution area. And that varies depending on a whole bunch of other things, but based on what machines you have running. And boilers produce uh, pollution. It's burning coal, after all. So we got automation that stopped now because I've run, out, I've run out of science packs. So let's just put more of those in there. And the way that science works is for every lab, it basically increases. There's no, uh, there's, the, the rate increases. There is no diminishing returns here going on. If you want 10 science labs, you will. And later on, we probably will do that. This is just a lot of this infrastructure is very temporary to boot your, bootstrap yourself into a much better uh, area. So, you know, we get that going. And yeah, things are still being built uh, in my inventory, which is all well and good. And there we go. We got the first automation uh, research. We get assembling machines and we get long handled, long handed inserters, which are much like the, the burner inserters, but they're electric and they will reach two spaces instead of one. This is one space. They would reach to here if we put them down. And um, I wonder, what do we need for science packs? Is it with me while I'll be doing this now? We need copper plates and iron gear wheels. Okay, so for those, we need to be able to make science packs. Uh, uh, we have two ingredients, so that should do. Uh, we're going to need electronic circuits, which is copper. Why don't we leave that till the next episode? I think we've uh, come up to just about half an hour. We've got our first research done, and let's just choose our second research. We want the logistics one, or at least I want the logistics one. Press research, and that will continue going. So in the first episode, we've got steel, which is now out of power again, out of coal again. Uh, that will change very, uh, very soon. We'll set up uh, a, a furnace of some kind, a small tray, that whatever you want to call it, um, in the next episode. Uh, similarly, for coal, we'll Im improve all of these to their electric versions, and then we'll start looking at what we can do to, to automate things a lot more. Uh, now that we've got lots of belts available, uh, we will, um, much like if you see my recent Minecraft videos, we'll create uh, stock systems. So these will supply constant amounts and be able to cope with any demand that we want on them. We, you know, we don't want them having to wait just like I have in this first episode, that's only a very early game thing. We want everything to be constant and available. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Uh, feel free to thumbs up if you've liked it. Give me a, uh, a comment. Let me know what you want to know, whether you consider it worthwhile to play this game. If you've played it yourself, I'm more than happy to hear the comments. Feel free to subscribe or follow me on Twitter at Greatest if you haven't already, and you will get notice about these episodes going out or when they go out. So, uh, yeah, again, you may see a few of these in a row because I'm recording them all, yeah, all at the same time, all the same day. And, uh, yeah, I think we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.